Today in our 2010 Honda Pilot, we'll be installing the tow ready custom fit wiring with seven pole connector part number 118253. To begin our install, we're first gonna go ahead and show you the mounting options for our new seven pole connector. Our first option, take the seven pole connector, put it up to the rear bumper fascia at the knockout and then trace out the socket of the connector. Once we have it traced out with our yellow paint marker, we'll then go ahead and take a rotary tool and cut out this section. Now with the cut out, we can then go ahead and take the seven pole connector and mount it directly to the rear bumper fascia without removing the manufacturer's knockout. This can be done by simply using the self-tapping screws. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the seven pole connector and the self-tapping screw and show you how to remove the knockout and secure the seven pole connector in position using a seven pole bracket. Our first step will be to go ahead and cut out the manufacturer's knockout. Using a utility knife, we'll go ahead and cut the tabs that secure it in place. Then we'll cut the bracket in behind it. Two easily available options for mounting our seven pole connector using a seven pole bracket will be the draw tight seven pole mounting bracket, part number 18138, or the Pollock seven pole universal mounting bracket with slotted attachment points, part number PK, 12711U in conjunction with the Pollock 7 pole bracket hardware part number PK11926. For our application, we'll be using the draw tight mounting bracket along with self tapping screws. Once we have it lined up, we'll then go ahead and take our paint marker and mark out the attachment points where it lines up on the bracket. Then we can go ahead and remove the bracket and 7 pole connector and using a couple pliers or vice grips. Secure the two together and use the self-tapping screws to mount the seven pole connector directly to the seven pole bracket. Once you have it secured, we're then ready to go ahead and install the seven pole bracket and connector back into position and we'll mark out the attachment points. Now that we have these attachment points out, because it's not a straight shot, I recommend go ahead and make a couple small pilot holes. We'll now go ahead and remove the rear bumper fascia push pin fasteners. To remove the fasteners, we'll pry out in the center and then remove the fastener completely. With both of them removed, we can then pull back on the fascia to gain a little easier access behind the fascia. Now we'll go ahead and make our pilot holes. Once our pilot holes are made, we'll go ahead and put the seven pole bracket and connector back in position and then secure it with the self tapping screws. Now that we have our bracket secured, we're ready to go ahead and install the wiring for our seven pole connector. The wiring will route from the manufacturer's tow port above the tailpipe on the driver's side over to our seven pole connector. Before we can route the wiring, we'll need to first remove the weather protective cap on the manufacturer's tow port connector. Then you can use a flat blade screwdriver to walk it off or a pair of pliers to pull off the cap. Note, over time these can build up with some debris and become very difficult to remove. Once removed, we can now go ahead and take the new wiring harness that was supplied with our Tow Ready Custom Install Kit and plug the gray connector directly into the manufacturer's port. Then we'll run the other end of our wiring harness to the back of the seven pole. There we can make the connection with the seven pole and lock the gray locking tab, securing our wire to our seven pole connector. Next, we'll go ahead and secure the wiring harness that we just routed. We'll feed it behind the fascia bracket and then secure it with the black zip tie provided with our install kit. Now with everything routed and run, we'll go ahead and cut the excess from our zip tie to clean up our install look and reinstall the push pin fasteners. Next, we'll move inside the vehicle. Then we can open up the interior access panel on the driver's side. Then we'll remove the interior door to gain access to the manufacturer's wiring behind the interior door. The gray plug and black electrical loom with the blue tape around it is the manufacturer's tow port that we'll connect our converter box to. Once we have the converter box connected and stored, we'll go ahead and reinstall the interior door and close the interior access panel on the driver's side. Next, we'll need to locate the manufacturer's auxiliary fuse port. It'll be just forward of the rear cargo compartment and we can remove the fuse cover panel with a flat bladed screwdriver. Once removed, we'll then need to remove the fuse panel cover. We'll pry down on the lower locking tab, 
Pull the cover up, releasing the lock on the top, and then setting it aside. Next, we'll start installing the fuses. Our first two fuses will be the red 7.5 amp fuses. The third fuse will be a yellow 20 amp fuse. Next, we'll install the two relays provided with our install kit, making sure that we install the spade terminals into the correct positions. Now with both relays installed, we'll go ahead and reinstall the fuse panel cover and interior trim panel. Next, we'll go ahead and move to the engine compartment. We'll locate the manufacturer's fuse box next to the battery. To remove the fuse box cover, we'll press on the three locking tabs and pull it directly up. Then we'll locate two fuse positions, one for a 20 amp fuse and the second for a square 30 amp fuse. We'll go ahead and install our 20 amp fuse first and then our 30 amp fuse. Now with all the fuses installed, we'll go ahead and reinstall the cover and we're ready to hit the road. That does it for the install of the Tow Ready Custom Fit Vehicle Wiring Harness with 7 pole connector part number 118253 on our 2010 Honda Pilot.